All right, you guys, my latest motto in life has been to wake up, get dressed, put my makeup on and leave the house versus what I used to do before. I used to get up and put some workout clothes on even though I wasn't going to work out and just leave the house with no makeup. Honestly, it's put me in such a better mood. I feel like it's a whole different mindset. Um, I feel like when I look good, I feel good. So I'm, and some people who don't do makeup regularly are gonna be, are intimidated. Like, oh, I don't even know where to start. And the look I do, he, this look is an everyday look and I have it down to about eight to 10 minutes max. And once you learn the technique, it'll be so quick for you too. I only use 10 products and I'm gonna show you guys how to apply each one and end up looking like you do have makeup on and you, do, you did put an effort in even though it only took you 10 minutes. All right, just because you're a beginner in makeup doesn't mean you need to be an amateur. Um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, my beginner look with, even though it's not gonna look beginner when I apply the makeup. So it's gonna look like I know what I'm doing, but honestly, it only takes a handful of products and very little technique. Uh, let's start with foundation, okay? I use the Dose of Colors foundation, Meet Your Hue in color 111. I love this product. It's new and it's medium to heavy coverage, depending on what you want. And honestly, I just go in with my fingertips. You can't go wrong with your fingertips. It actually ends up blending really nicely. Uh, I think a lot of people, when they just start makeup, they're like intimidated by like a million brushes and all of that. That's why I want to show you guys that you really don't need all the bells and whistles and you could achieve a cute pro looking look without all the bells and whistles. <laughs> The one product I do highly recommend you buying um, is a beauty blender because that way you're able to use it for like so many different things. Like I use it to just like quickly blend in my foundation after I've applied it with my finger. Any spots I feel like I need more blending. And then I use it for my translucent powder. I use it for my concealer. Um, all right, so after I have my foundation on, you can move on to concealer. I will leave all these products in the description below so it's easy for you guys to find them. Um, but I use Milk Makeup. And I used to use like a super bright color. And after watching, um, I think it was Beyonce's makeup artist, um, his video, he said that it actually makes you look older when you go super light. Um, it accentuates your wrinkles. So keep it kind of at your skin tone, just a little lighter. So that's what I have been doing lately. And honestly, you see the biggest difference. You don't see um, the dark circles when it's not too light. Again, I use my finger to blend. And I feel like this is the best technique to blend your concealer. I've tried to use brushes, I've tried to use ever, anything you could imagine, and it, you don't get the same effect as you do with the, um, your fingertips. Because what happens is the product's getting warm and like kind of like melting with your fingertips. All right, now translucent powder. I use the Kat Von D translucent powder, the Locket, um, translucent powder and without my beauty blender being wet I just dab it and apply under my eyes on my forehead on my chin and what I do is I leave this on throughout the entire um, process of me doing my makeup. So that's when it, when I like wipe it off and put my bronzer, it gives like that wow effect. 
Next up, eyes. So eyes, I feel like, is the one thing that people who don't know, don't know how to do makeup or are new at makeup get intimidated by. This is like, honestly, like simplicity is key here and you don't wanna look overdone. You don't wanna look like crazy when you're walking out of your house. You're not JLo at the end of the day, <laughs> sorry. Um, JLo needs to have a full glam on when she leaves the house. She's JLo, there's like a million photographers. But the fact that you could have like a cute shimmer eye when you're leaving the house and it only took like a few seconds um, still means it still is better than leaving the house without it. Um, this is a new product that I've been obsessed with. It's not new, it's new to me. It's the Lisa Watier um, Souffle Supreme, they call it. And this color is barely gold and it's basically kind of like a cream eyeshadow. You can't go wrong with cream eyeshadow. You just need to find a brand that you like that their, their consistency doesn't make you crease and um, you like the color and like for me, it's really important that I don't have like, I, f I don't feel like it's wet because I get like really like worked up if I feel like my eyeshadow is wet. Um, and then all you do is just apply it on your lids. And since it's a shimmery color, don't be afraid to like go up to your crease area even up here it's like one you're just gonna be applying one color you guys so it's not hard at all and see how it gives like that natural just like glow versus not having anything it just makes your eyes pop All right, and then I'm going to, going to move on to my eyebrows. Eyebrows is definitely one of those things you wanna have done before you leave the house. Even if you're not applying makeup, I guarantee you it makes it look so much more different when you do your eyebrows. And what I do, my technique you guys, and I think this is great for beginners, is just brush down your brows and go with the natural lining of your eyebrow. You don't want to like overdo it. There you go, natural lining. Natural lining and then you brush up. and then get some on here. And then you just draw a line basically and then brush it up. Brush it up, up, up. Same goes with the other side. Up. see how effortless that was okay and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of color under my eyes and like right here and this is optional if you want to add it if you feel like you need some sort of darkness around your eyes um, I don't wear eyeliner I feel like it's just like it's too aggressive especially for daytime I just use some brown eyeshadow And I really blend it just so it's not like so dark.
That's it, eyes are done. Now I'm gonna apply some mascara. My holy grail mascara is the Lancome Hypnos. All right, now I'm gonna wipe off all the excess on my face and go on with my bronzer. Finish up. And there's no like technique to brushing it off. Just make sure you get all the excess out. You could apply it all over. And now bronzer, I use the Lisa Wattier in Havana. And when you're doing your face, always make sure you're like, so for bronzer, I use, I start with my cheekbones. I don't contour, so this is kind of like a contouring technique as well. And then I go up, move up. I leave this part. I don't really apply too much product there. So I got like that area, the top part, and then I go for my nose. And then a little bit around here. And then with no product, I just like kind of blend everything together. And the final step, well not final, final for the face, is blush. With any color, I if you're new to makeup and you're like gonna go and you don't know what color blush to use, I highly recommend going to the makeup counter for like a, any brand you want. You could go to MAC, you could go to Bobbi Brown, you could go anywhere and have them kind of color match you for a good blush. Um, whether you want a pinkier tone, a more coral orangey tone, it all depends on your skin tone, what color you end up using. I'm using more of like a darker, it's an in-between pink and an orange look. I use that one. And I use the Morphe brand and they sell that at Ulta actually. And what you do for blush, I would smile and just do your cheeks. So smile, cheeks, and move up. Face is done, final step is your lips. And I would get, if you're new to makeup, don't explore yet. Um, start with more of like a nude look um, versus the bright colors. And then just start adding on. Um, once you feel comfortable doing your makeup, start adding on the more brighter colors. Um, but I would go with a lip liner and a lip paint or lip gloss in the same color, like kind of like a same color because you don't want it to clash. I'm using Dose of Colors Lip Liner in Delight. It's one of my favorite colors. Cause it's like a nude, but also a pink. And always try to overline a little, not aggressively, but just like line the top of your lip. And one of my favorite nudes is the Galactic Matte Lip Paint in Bashful.
All right, you guys, this is my final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's basically, I made it super easy for beginners, but also like, I feel like I could go out and feel confident and looks like I have makeup on. And that's the one thing about beginners I feel like that are, they're very intimidated by and they look like they have no makeup on is when, um, it's the skin it's the foundation so make sure you do apply translucent powder make sure you're bronzing yourself make sure you're putting blush on and you're using more like a medium coverage foundation because that way you get like a full face versus um looking like you have no makeup on and as you can see my eyes are super light i barely put any eyeshadow on there um i use just one color so it was super simple Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And remember, I'm going to put all of the products I use in the description as well. I'll see you next time.